Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Season 1, Episode 13. So, we are back in the desert we found a couple of episodes ago. I've already collected our sand and actually taken it back to base, as you can see by the further increased um, points on our map. I have gone back through and... As you can see, we now have four banners on our map, where before we only had one. So the black banner. Up in the corner is our base. The two white banners are villages that we have found. And then the gray banner on the lower corner is the abandoned village we found a couple episodes ago. So this is what our map looks like right now. But, the reason we are back here, by the Badlands, is because of this right here. So, Badlands biomes have a higher spawn rate of mine shafts. Furthermore, they have a chance of spawning them closer to the surface. And as you can see by right here... There is a mine shaft right below us. And right here. And right here. And there. So we have a partially exposed mine shaft right here that I figured we would take a little bit of a look at. Because I was pretty sure, and I don't see it now, but earlier when I was running around, it looked as if... Let's go ahead and collect this wood. Whoa. That's what I thought. It looked to be, and here it is, up here. That is nice. Exposed minecarts with chests, which is basically the loot from the mine shaft. Um, that is right here, and you can see how it goes farther in down here. We aren't going to be, we have to be very careful in exploring because as you can see, this did not generate properly and it is in sand, which means if you pull the wrong piece, the whole ceiling comes out from above you. So we are going to go ahead and sleep real quick. and see if there's any more over here above ground that we can take up before we go into the further dangerous portion downstairs. Well, let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Oh, and you aren't a normal guy, which means we have a spawn at some point around here. because that is a cave spider, which makes this whole adventure a lot more fun, but at the same point, a lot more dangerous. And with him being up here, it's probably going to be more of an exposed one as well but our goal at the moment are these exposed chests and that was a book enchanted book letter two not a bad one at all we 
are out of space. We are going to go ahead and get rid of the mine carts. Seems like that is going to be the edge of it. Now this one over here is not near as dangerous being terracotta. Which won't just collapse on top of us. That is, is that another portion? Or is that just, nope. Let's go ahead and head back this way. Go ahead and head back on over here. Ah, probably not the smartest move. And that is a spawner of hallway, so we are getting out of that way. I don't have all of the materials to make a spawner experience farm yet, so I am not quite interested in doing that. So we will definitely come back at a later time and work on this some more. But it was something cool I had found, so I thought it would be awesome to show you guys. Now, let's see. I don't need you. I'm not going to need you. Anything else? I've got a bunch of pumpkins, so I'm going to say I don't need you either. Everything else is going to come on with us. 
actually, nope, it's orange terracotta, not sand. Okay, so from here, we are actually going to go ahead and bypass the rest of this mine shaft and head on up here. And as you can see, it's probably the other end of that mine shaft, and you can see an exposed spawner right over there, which we are not going near. And this is probably the same other side of the mine shaft that goes out through the other side. So. But we are going after terracotta at the moment, which is this stuff right here. There we go. Ah, we'll go for it. And there we go. And so that is a spider spawner. Um, more specifically, that is a cave spider spawner. 
so if we were still on my map I would mark it but we are not on the map so it will have to be left unmarked but we may come back and make an experience farm out of that at some point in time but not with the current armor I have so we are going to go ahead and start heading back Number. Nope. Let's go ahead and nab the subsidian. And there we go. So we are going to head on this way. We are going to head back with a small stop over at the abandoned village to collect a couple of things that we were not able to collect last time. And so I will see you guys there in just a few minutes. And welcome back. So, we are collecting all of these spider webs from over here. So, this is the abandoned village we found a couple episodes ago. And we are just taking the time to collect all of these abandoned spider or all of these spider webs that are all over all of these houses and everything. Um they're useful for string if broken. Um but then they're also useful for decoration and in a couple of different forms. So We are going ahead and collecting them. If I had the extra space, I would go ahead and collect the terracotta from all of these houses as well as some more of the blocks left lying around. There we go. Probably won't collect all of them just because there's a lot here and we don't have enough room for all of them. But we will collect a lot of them. That gives us 52. 
53. As you can see the banner that marks us. Marks where we are. Did I leave? I did. Gives us 60. We have enough room for four more. And there we go, 64. So now we are going to go ahead and head back to base now that we've gotten through all of that. Wolf, wish I had some bones. However, I don't. So go ahead and head on over here. Go ahead and fill in some area we haven't done yet as we go on up. And we are back at base at last. So, going to go ahead and drop this all off into our trunk chest to sort. And go ahead and collect all of this sand. Drop that on off over here. Add our smelter and call it a day. So, thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft Hardcore, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful and amazing Minecraft day.